forecast. Welcome back. Well, it's going to be a little bit cooler tonight, but fog developing in the open fields. Uh, ground fog tonight, not the sea fog that we've seen over the last couple of nights, and we might see that return tomorrow. But tonight, fog developing differently. Shallow fog, it spills over the roadways and does get a little bit higher and thicker uh, throughout the nighttime hour. So be on the lookout for that, that dense fog. So let's look out at the big picture across Louisiana. I got a 24 hour loop here going, showing the showers and storms that move through with a weak frontal boundary that uh, did produce some pretty strong storms for a time last night across eastern Texas and then into southwest Louisiana. In fact, uh, there was one storm that produced a tornado. We had tornado warnings going between about uh, 1 132 o'clock in the morning up until about 3 o'clock in the morning, then severe thunderstorm warnings thereafter. And right around De Quincey, pretty strong uh, signal for a tornado last night. And sure enough, National Weather Service went out to survey the area. And there was, by the way, some wind damage off farther to the north and east with this system, but uh, there was a tornado that did a fair bit of damage in around the De Quincey area. You can check out more details online at uh, on our social media pages, but roughly at 2.17 in the morning, EF1 tornado with 100 mile per hour winds. It was on the ground for 4.7 miles. That's pretty long for Louisiana. Path width pretty big at 600 yards, and it did damage to an air park, power lines, trees down and there were damage to some uh, a fair bit of roofs and windows on homes and businesses. So uh, pretty nasty storms last night, uh, but uh, things quieted down as those storms moved off farther to the east. Tonight it's a little bit too quiet and that's going to allow for fog to develop. Even though the model is really backed off on the thick fog, we do think there's going to be patchy dense spots through tomorrow morning, especially in fog favored areas. So be on the lookout. I think fog visibilities will go down quarter mile or less in spots, even though the model not calling for it and whatever develops tomorrow morning will burn off quickly into tomorrow afternoon. And then after that, a little sunshine mid morning hours, but here come the clouds right at lunchtime advancing out of the Gulf of Mexico as our winds turn around out of the south. And then as we go into the afternoon, plenty of clouds and drive time, maybe a few sprinkles through this time tomorrow evening. There's that sea fog that's going to return for tomorrow night. It's a foggy season when we see these above normal temperatures for sure. And then Friday afternoon, well above normal. Here's showers and storms and the models are a little bit faster, bringing those storms into Acadiana as we go through Saturday morning. Uh, they'll persist into Saturday afternoon and then gradually push off to the east. But plenty of clouds behind this system. I think it's going to stay mostly cloudy, but it's going to be decidedly cooler on Sunday as high pressure begins to move in. Our coldest weather gets here Sunday night into Monday, Christmas morning. We wake up with temperatures in the mid 30s, but sorry, no precipitation with this system. And as quickly as that cold air moves in, the coldest part off to our north and east, the cool air begins to erode going into the latter part of next week with showers on the way and perhaps milder temperatures. But in this type of pattern, a week out, the forecast is likely going to change just the way it's done, flipped and flopped back and forth for Christmas. So mild toward the end of next week, we think for now. And then a wet weather system come Friday, followed by colder air perhaps as as we get into the last weekend of 2017 on the model going for some snow from Dallas on northeastward, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Don't think we're going to see anything around here. It'll probably be too dry once again. Temperatures upper 40s to lower 50s tonight, so certainly cooler than tomorrow. We'll top out upper 60s to low to mid 70s tomorrow afternoon. It'll be dictated. Temperatures will be dictated by cloud cover. It stays mild tomorrow night in the mid 60s, and then your Friday spring like indeed with temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. So clear and a little bit cooler with that dense ground fog developing through midnight and beyond. Then for tomorrow, early fog giving way to some sun, but the clouds come back. Mild temperatures, low to mid 70s, slight rain chances late in the day. And oh, by the way, winter officially gets here, astronomically speaking, at 1028 a.m. tomorrow morning, but it'll be spring like through Friday, cooling off Saturday even cooler and breezy Sunday and Sunday's misleading temperatures will be dropping into the 40s. We think on Sunday at 57 will be the high early Sunday morning at 1 a.m. and then chilling down into the 30s at night and 50s lower to mid 50s for Christmas Day with mostly sunny skies. All right.